so I've got some ribs warming up. I'm gonna have a rosé with them, but while I wait, I wanted to do a wine that I think is under $20, and I've talked about it before, the Juggernaut. I think it's made by Vogel, and I wanted to hate it, like I mentioned, but I actually do like this wine. I think it's $16, $17, and sub $20, it's a pretty good Cabernet. What can I say? I drink it, I bring it to parties, I think it's a crowd pleaser, and I think it's got enough complexity that it tastes more than it costs. <clears throat> so the other one, <clears throat> I've wanted to try this for a while, it's called Pendulum, it's out of, I'm pretty sure Columbia, out of Columbia Valley, it's a Washington State, these are both 2019s, they're both Cabernets, this was $15. So, two wines, under $20, one from California, one from, from Washington State, West Coast. Let's see how they are, and let's see if we got sort of a second winner or a companion to this sub twenty dollar wine. So, it's a bit of a roasted fruit, and then a raspberry spice dark brooding fruit aroma here. But there's a little bit of a roasted aspect to this. Length is good, tannin's good, wine's tasty. It's a very good $17 bottle of wine. What can I say? It's a good wine. It smells pretty elegant. I'd say it smells more elegant and maybe more expensive than it tastes. If anything, it's a little bit hot, but a little alcoholic. It's a good wine. What can I say? I did a little Corbin of it. Corbin of both of them. Color on both. Different. A more browning on the pendulum. I don't know why. So this has a little bit of VA, balsamic vinegar on the nose, more so. This kind of reminds me of what CS, smells like another Washington bargain, California, I'm sorry, Washington cab, West Coast cab. More along, slightly more herbal. I think this one needs to open up more, but there's no time for that. So we're just gonna drink it and go. Softer, less tannin, shorter finish. Yeah, the Juggernaut's just better. I, I, first impression, the Juggernaut's just better. I, this is fifteen dollars. It kind of tastes like fifteen dollars. It's not awful. I, I'd like to compare this to the CS. I think they would taste similar. It, easy drinking. This is definitely easy drinking. This would be a midweek, midweek one for sure. It's not bad by any stretch. It's drinkable, very drinkable. I just think the Juggernaut's better for a few dollars more. Literally, like two dollars more. So, I would just go for it. I'm gonna just leave them both out too. I wanna see if some of this volatilis city, this balsamic vinegar aroma blows off. It's not on the palate at all, just a little bit on the aroma. On the palate, it's a little less heavy, but that it's just also a little less flavorful and it, sh it finishes shorter, so it just tastes cheaper, I guess. But this tastes, the Juggernaut tastes more expensive. Yeah, it, it, it's just something about this Juggernaut for that price. I don't know, I don't know. So I recommend the Juggernaut over the Pendulum in this head-to-head. -head. I would definitely try these later. See if either improve or degrade. You never know. You never know here. I'm going to go have my ribs with an amazing rosé. And that's that. Have a good night.